Hey, how's it going? Uh, hi. It's been a while. Sorry. I decided on my day off today that I will address a few messages that some people on YouTube and Tumblr have been messaging me. Some of you LGBTQ youngsters out there have been asking me for gay advice, for gay advice, for advice about being gay, accepting being gay, how to deal with life because they're gay. I have made videos like this in the past and I have said, you know, there's no proper or correct way of advice to give. Every situation is different from one another. So, you know, one may apply to that while it may not apply to this. It is difficult for me to figure out what I should say. But you know, I, I still want to say something. So the first thing I would say is to go to the trevorproject.org. Uh, lovely people who are happy to give you advice, counseling. Um, it's just a place where you can talk about your situation, about yourself, um, without having any judgment. It's especially there for those who don't have anyone else to talk to, because not everyone has a close friend. So yeah, the Trevor Project. Secondly, I urge you, if you haven't already, which you may not have, to go onto YouTube and type in, it gets better. And I know it's probably like, you know, what does looking at a dozen it gets better videos gonna do for me is how how is that gonna help me how is that gonna apply to my situation all I can say to that is when you look at those videos and you look at those people telling their story you can realize that you're actually part of a bigger picture we are all part of the same universe and existentially we're experiencing the same things and you know I'm not gonna back myself up and say you know there's a lot of other people experiencing poverty famine war all that kind of stuff because that's not applying to what I'm talking about right now. So, you know, anyone who says that, go away. But in this situation, yeah, we all experience the same things, the same life experiences. We're all gonna go through heartbreak at some point. We're all gonna get a first job. We're all gonna, I don't know, try to lick our elbow because it's apparently impossible to do that. Unless you're like super flexible. The idea of telling you guys to go onto YouTube to look at It Gets Better videos isn't me being lazy. Maybe. It's me saying, look, you're not alone. And a lot of people are feeling what you feel. Take some kind of comfort in that. Because, you know, when you're feeling like you're alone, you feel like no one understands you. You feel like, you know, the world is against you. It, it's tough. Understand that you're part of a bigger picture and that everyone else is feeling this. It kind of, I don't know, makes you feel like you're part of it, right? We can all feel pain together! Thirdly, get the three fingers. Get this around your head. It's okay to ask for help, but you have to be willing to accept that help. I know it sounds silly to say that, you know, it's a choice to be sad. It's not a choice to be sad. You have different variables in life that can really affect your daily life and mood. It's tough, I know it's tough. But the one thing that you have got, that each one of us has, is a mind. And a body. What you do with your mind and your body is really up to you. You, you can stand on your own two feet if you wanted to. Or you could sit down. Or you could stand on one leg. Or you could hop. It's your choice, right? What I'm trying to say is you can decide if you want to put yourself out of that situation. If you want to take yourself out of that place of dark, gloominess. Arr! And put yourself in a place of light and happy, bright things. You know, I know this is easier said than done. It's not a one, two, three step process. It's not a, it'll happen overnight kind of thing. Because it will take time. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to wallow in your sorrows. It's fine to feel those feelings. It always is. Because the thing is, if you don't allow yourself to feel those feelings, it's just going to submerge itself out from the depths of where you push them back down. And it's going to come out and it, it's going to be terrible. If you let yourself feel those feelings, great. Thing is, the future is always impending. It's always coming. It's coming towards us every second. The one thing I want you guys to think of is, you know what, the future is, is coming. And there's all these amazing bright new experiences and things that are coming with it. Probably going to miss that that happy train because I've allowed myself to feel so sad. So you know what? Feel sad, then get out of it. Is there really any point to just being sad every single day? Looking past all the things that are terrible in the world, you can still see that there are so many other beautiful things to, 
see and you're missing out on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, being gay, accepting that you're gay, yeah, it, it's a difficult part, you know, in a small time in our lives. You know, sexuality is not the only thing that will define your life. I don't know if any of this makes any sense at all, but I hope that some of you can take some of what I said at least and apply it to yourselves. Um, but don't forget that, you know, the Trevor Project and there's a lot of other causes and organizations that could help you as well. But yeah, the internet is at our fingers. Use the resources that we have. We are in a technological world, which is uh, kind of crazy. By the way, her, if you haven't seen it, go see it. It's amazing. Loved it. Okay. <laughs> I hope that all of you are doing well in the internet world. I've been watching YouTube videos and whatnot and been wanting to make a video for a long time, but I just haven't been inspired or felt like it. And as well as that, my iMovie has been crazy crap. But yeah, that's it. Happy, happy days to you guys. Smile and chin up. Take care, bye.